Welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about all of the farmable axes and great axes in Elden Ring. Reminder that uh, your arcane dictates your item discovery. Um, if you don't want to use a larval tier and respec into like a farming class with high arcane, you can do you can use the silver tier mask. It raises your arcane by eight. You can use Merica's Sword Seal, which raises your arcane by five. You can use the silver scarab uh, talisman. It raises your item discovery by seventy five. Um, and you can also, you know, munch on a, a pickled, uh, foul foot. Silver pickled foul foot is the name. Um, you can craft those. Um, I don't usually use them, but if you get desperate, don't feel bad about using one. Uh, up first, we have the forked hatchet. Uh, it's in Merc Water Catacombs. Um, you can just spawn in at the grace here, and then there's two imps right away, and then just run back. Uh, this weapon is garbage. I don't recommend using it. I don't recommend using it. It, um, the range is bad. The tracking's bad. It's pretty much bad in every way. Uh, it does have quick step and it does cause blood loss. So if that sounds like you, then get after it. But dang. Next up, we have the Jawbone Axe. Uh, just port to Worshipper's Wood. Just go north. There are three guys here. Um, I just farm them over and over and go back. They also drop their armor, the first set that has those, uh, the horns. They look really, really cool. I think this may be the only axe that does uh, strike damage, which is helpful if you're if you're facing like a chunkier enemy, a, a Crystallion, a, a Imp, I don't know. Um, strike damage. Next up, the Celebrant's Cleaver. Uh, you can farm, there's a lot of stuff to farm in this windmill village. Um, just spawn in up here on the right, these two enemies right here with the cleaver. There are two down here. And then if you go up top, there are three more. The cleaver has a lower drop chance, so just be patient. I think it's 0.5% when your item discovery is at 100. Um, there are multiple farm rules here. You can get the, there's a dagger, there's the cleaver, there's a rib rake, that big one that the some of them are holding. You can also farm their um, outfit, the dress, and then the dress with the blue, the blue dress. <laughs> the dress with the blue, the blue dress. Um, and then you can also get their headwear, which you can alter to make like a little flower headband. That's really cute. I'm going to show you um, the... This weapon has a passive uh, rune gain. So no matter the upgrade or or like how many hits you do in a number of time, it's it's 10 runes and the timer's on the cooldown. So you'll see here, I'll get like 10, it will wait, and then another 10 and then wait. And all the Celebrant's weapons are that way. All right, next up is the Iron Cleaver. You're gonna go down here to Castle Morin right at the very beginning and ride the elevator up. Up here at the top in this main area, there's like seven of these little misbegotten that carry the iron cleaver. And there's a giant one that uh, carries the long haft ax, which we'll talk about in a second as well. It's a great ax. So um, kill all of them. They're gonna gank you. You're gonna take some hits, but uh, hopefully you can get it to drop. It has a reasonable drop rate. And if you don't get it to drop, uh, just reset and do the whole thing over again. The only thing I think that's interesting about this cleaver is that it has a special R2. Um, it share it actually shares this R2 with the Celebrant's cleaver, which we talked about before. Um, it's basically you just like run up and overhead. It's like a stomp, 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 overhead. Um, next one is uh, the warped axe. We're gonna go down here to abandon coffin. Now the warped axe can drop from any of these omen enemies, like the ones in Lanedale sewers and and any ones that you see out in the world that look like this. Um, but this is just an easy place to farm them. There's two right here, and then just rest or teleport back and and grab it. This uh, warped axe, even though it looks a little shrimpy compared to when the uh, omen have it, but it has a it has a unique. Uh, R1 combo and unique R2 combo. I think the Ripple Blade is the only other one in the game that has this, that R1 and R2 combo. All right, next up, this one is a little, a little, just a little baby farm. This is a long half act. So staying in Castle Morn, going beside the Rampart Jail, running over the bridge, killing this guy. And then I kill this guy here just so that I can teleport back. If he's aggroed, you won't be able to, but this is just a super simple, just a basic axe. Next one, uh, 
this one this one takes some setup this one i got a little frustrated on this one so um in storm veil you're gonna wanna what is it called ramparts tower so you're gonna want to send it right here Go down here and step on these steps. So you're going to want to end up on that wooden platform down there where that enemy is. But don't jump on that from there because you'll die. <laughs> jump on the roof above it and then fall down on the wooden platform. In here, there are two of these little exiles uh, that hold it. Um, and Oh, it has a unique R2. It shares this R2 with Axe of uh, Godric and it's just unique i think it looks really cool that was the easiest place i found to farm the the crescent moon axe this is a really cool weapon it's actually pretty fast i like this one a lot okay next up executioner's great axe i like this one as well i think this one looks really cool i say that about it i should stop saying that i say this about every single one of them okay so uh go here to lake facing cliffs and then you're gonna look for that little uh dead tree up there Hop on your horse, run up there. You're going to want to veer. Once you get up here, just veer to the right because there are two enemies hanging in that tree on the left that are going to drop down if they see you. So I just loop over here to the right. Um, and then the one with the great axe is just here on the ground. Kill him. You can use like a, a holy water pot if you can, you know, just damage him a little bit and use a holy water pot. He'll just die instantly and won't resurrect. Um... But just give him the old what for. Make sure he dies. You know, these skeletons, they die. And then sometimes I'm like, <laughs> sometimes I hit them to kill them. And I'm like, oh, they didn't drop the thing because it didn't have that like little blue, the little blue explodey. But um, make sure that you kill him and, and, and make sure that you get the drop. Oh, 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 I wanted to show you. So this is, uh, if you can add the, if you have lightning strike, the weapon art, um, Adding it to the Executioner's Great Axe will give you, like, a Dragon Slayer armor vibe from Dark Souls 3. Oh, man, this is going to be so cool. Watch. Yeah. Look at that. Meatballs in the sky. Hither and yon. It's you doing a Dragon Slayer armor cosplay. All right, next up, this is just a bonus. This is one you might have missed. So Bridge of Iniquity here in Altus Plateau, the Corpse Stench st corpse stench Shack. We're looking for the Sacred Butchering Knife, I think is what this one's called. So, you know, giddy on up, up there, and you should be invaded by Anastasia, the Tarnished Eater. Bum, bum, bum. And then once you kill her, you get this um, Sacred Butchering Knife. I actually... <laughs> I actually really like this weapon. I've been using it a lot. It's super heavy. I have a like a holy art on it as well. It does holy damage. Um, and it also has this like little um this little like passive that you regain HP on striking. So uh the HP gain is one percent. It's one percent HP gain for every hit. So if you put something like wild strikes or something on it like i'm gonna show you i'm gonna hit the listen don't say anything but i'm gonna hit the turtle we're gonna get one hp back every time we hit and then if you use something like wild strikes or like an art that allows you to hit it multiple times you'll get that one hp back for every hit there's no cooldown on it god it feels so bad every time no no i can't even look Okay, well, that's one you may have missed. Oh, it feels so bad. That's one you may have missed um, just as a little bonus. I really like this one. I think you should give this a shot. Give it a chance and it looks cool. Look at it. Anyways, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm planning on doing this for all of the different weapon classes. Um, so hopefully I see you there on those videos too. Oh, and you can follow me on Twitch and we hang out and we always have a good time. It's twitch.tv slash Kcoms. Links below. I would love to see you and, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye!